Good afternoon, traders. This is Kevin Craney with RJO Futures with your afternoon financial market update. Well, another day, uh, another Monday, and another day down in the equity markets, and we see Treasuries actually rallying a little bit here as we continue to uh, look at what's happening really uh, from the from a fundamental standpoint in the economy. We had some data out today. Uh, some manufacturing data both here in Chicago and out of the Texas region. The Chicago data is showing that we're a bit weak. We're actually very weak in the month of August here in the Chicago region, but in Texas actually a bit stronger. So we continue to get mixed data on the economy, and that's really kind of pushing things back and forth here, particularly after the quantitative easing just the other week. Going forward, we have a full economic calendar this week we'll be looking at. Uh, we have uh, actually have um, the S&P Case-Shiller Home Price Index. We also have Consumer Confidence coming out. Um, likewise, we have a, a Richmond Fed Manufacturing Index that's coming out tomorrow as well. So chock full of data this week that will give us a good read on what the activity was really for the month of August uh, and how things are pairing up. One thing we have to keep in mind, it does take a little bit for um, any type of stimulus to gain traction. So I think the market is really just kind of sitting back here after the gain that we've seen. Uh, again, it came pretty far pretty fast. Wouldn't be surprised if we would see a little bit of profit taking on the equity side and we see the continued support that we have seen in the Treasury market pushing these yields just a bit lower. So uh, all eyes will be on the, uh, the economic calendar both here in the U.S. and internationally uh, going forward through the week. Please give me a call at 888-596-5817 and we can discuss uh, these reports and opportunities. As always, remember, futures trading is not suitable for everyone and does carry a high degree of risk.